All right, let's talk about how we can replace images inside of a Show It website. So there are a couple of different images that you can use in Show It. So replacing them will be um, a bit of a different process for each, but it's not difficult. So I just wanna hop right in and show you how to do this. So the first thing you would do is um, probably want to replace just a static single image on your website. Um, because you probably have these all throughout your website and this is a really great thing to learn. So all you need to do is just click on the image that you want to replace and you can either um, click on this image here in the right corner or you can click on swap image. And then I'm going to go ahead and pick another image and as you can see it's kind of off to the side because you can adjust these images so what I want to do on the position is just play around with it until we get it where we want it so you can see if I increase it it goes even more to the left so let's try to decrease it and that's perfect so I'm going to go ahead and leave it at um, 20 position and I'm also going to do the same on mobile and that's it. And then sometimes when you replace images, you won't need to adjust the position, but I just wanted to mention that in case you do replace it with an image image that may seem to maybe be cut off a bit or just not centered in the in the frame. So the other thing you might want to do is replace an image in a gallery. So show it has galleries that you can use to show off um, different, it, it's kind of like a slideshow. So basically this image here looks like a static image, but when I click on it, you'll see that it's actually a gallery. And up at the top right, you can see the gallery images here. So I have three images in this gallery and maybe I just want to replace this one. So you can remove it here, but what I like to do is just hit manage images and then it'll pull up your media gap, your media library, as well as the gallery images here. So um, you can also drag these to reorder them if you want that one to appear first. And maybe we don't want this one anymore, so we'll just go ahead and delete that one. And maybe we want to add this one. And again, you can drag these around. You can add as many images as you want. I do recommend keeping... Um, the gallery to a minimum because it can slow down your website. So just make sure your images are compressed and ready to go. So I'm going to save that and you'll see it updated because I wanted this one to be first. So we kind of reordered them. We deleted one and we added a new one. So the last type of image to replace would be a background image on a canvas. So with each canvas and show it, um, the background can be a, you can have none, you can have a color, a gradient, an image, or a video. So right now we're using the image. As you can see, this is the image that we're using as the background of this canvas. So to replace it, you just click on it and it'll pull up that gallery again. And I'm just going to go ahead and choose this image and I'm going to do the same on mobile. And that's it. That's how you replace a background image. So I hope this was helpful and gets you a little more familiar with the Show It platform and how easy it can be to use. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.